Hey everyone, uh, we're going to talk about journals a little bit today. We're going to actually talk about the resource journal. That's another question that came through the pipes. So right now we're just kind of fielding off the questions, which is nice. Uh, but journals in uh, Business Central are tricky in a sense. You have to sort of understand what's going on behind the journal when it's posting. So I'm going to just name a couple of journals. We have, of course, the mother of all journals, which is the... Uh, uh, general journal uh, and the general journal can post into chart of accounts of course um, and so here we have that with with the balance sheet and income statement uh, and so whenever whatever you put in the general journal uh, when it posts it posts onto the chart of accounts but in the general journal you can sort of do everything um, so let's say, for example, you're posting a sales invoice with a customer uh, going to a GL account uh, as the offset, some revenue account, and you name the customer here, let's say customer ABC coffee, and it's going to the 4100, uh, 41,000, let's do that, GL account, which is the revenue account. What's going to happen is that uh, in this case, it's going to hit AR and revenue. Uh, so this is a typical posting in a journal. Uh, if you do it just with GL, there would be an AR account here, which would be something like, let's say 15,000. And then 41,000 would be the revenue. But if you do it with a customer, it hits the chart of accounts but it also hits the customer card, sub ledger. So, so that would be the customer ledger entries. So if I specify here a customer ABC coffee and the offset account for this uh, being 41,000, which is the revenue account, then it's gonna hit uh, account 15,000, which is tied to the customer through the uh, posting uh, posting groups and we do have extensions extensive videos on posting groups um, and an offset by the GL account of 41,000 right so okay I know it gets tricky and I'm not going to do this in five minutes this is probably like a couple of hour topic but the important part about this is you have the general journal where you can do everything customer you can do vendor you can do GL to GL you can go anywhere you want then you have all these sub journals uh, one of them being the purchase journal payment journal uh, you have the um, sales journal and you have uh, another one called I'll just do it here cash receipt journal so all of these journals what do they have to do with the general journal right well they are all a subset of the general journal they're basically the same thing you can do all of this in here a lot of it except when you're doing the payment journal for example they restrict you to work with vendors pretty much i mean you can do customer but if you're doing customer then you're doing a refund uh, and you're issuing a refund to the customer paying out purchase you're also you're buying stuff from vendors sales you're working with customers so these are just journals the purchase journal payment journal sales journal cash receipt journal they're all journals that are subset of the general journal. And you also have other journals. This was the point uh, that was brought up. You have a journal called the resource journal. Uh, the resource journal. The resource journal is not a subset of the general journal. The resource journal is not connected to pretty much anything except resources. And it only books transactions on the resource. That's it. It's just hanging out there. No purpose at all except keeping the ledgers of the resources in check. So that's a useful journal if you don't want to mess up your chart of accounts. You could do all kinds of transactions in here and then just reconcile later to the chart of accounts if you want to. So that's a funky one. Another one is the job journal. What about the job journal? So the job journal 
actually does post to the channel accounts, but also possibly posts to an item or to a customer or a vendor, depending on what's going on. And you have to select a job in the job journal. So it does post also to the job ledger entries and which can reconcile into a work in progress. So this is a complicated journal. It's more complicated than these guys. This one can do a lot. And uh, it is maintains the job system inside uh, Business Central. So what I'm gonna do in the screen share, I'm gonna show you the resource journal because that's the simplest one. And uh, then show you the job journal just and post there and see how that goes in and just kind of give you the idea of the difference. And this top here on journals, like all of these sub journals to the general, general journal uh, would be a nice one for our next demo or video. So let's take a look. Okay, let's take a look at the system. So I'm going to go here into the resource journal and just pop in here. And I've actually created two lines for Mark, um, one for usage and usage is cost basically. Uh, and one for sale, which is the revenue. So it's eight hours. So you booked eight hours uh, into the time journal, and then we build that back out. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and post this. And uh, they were posted. And now I'm going to take a look at the uh, resource card. Or just resource. Let's see. Uh, and get into Mark here. Okay, so uh, we should be able to take a look at the entries, ledger entries, and here they are. So we have eight hours consulting uh, for total cost and then um, usage for total price. So we have a cost and price for this. Uh, we should be able to uh, see various things. Let's see, like a statistics. So you can see here that they have... Um, this year, how much has been invoiced versus last year, etc., etc. So this is pretty handy. And uh, uh, let's get back here one more time. Let's see uh, ledger entries. So I just go on and navigate on this. Um, let me see. And and these actually do not touch pretty much anything anywhere else in the system. Let's see if that brings that up to prove my point correctly. Correct. So I navigated on these entries. What Navigate does, and I should actually cover that in a separate video, it goes and looks up all the entries posted when this was posted. So if it would have posted into the GL, it would have seen GL entries here, but I'm only seeing resource ledger entries. So there are two, basically um, the the one with the sale and one with the cost. So nothing else. So that kind of proves my point. Now, there's another journal. If you actually want to tie this into something uh, a little bit more with uh, GL postings, etc., it's called the job journal. And that has to do with jobs. And in jobs, um, so here we have an example. We can have resources, we can have items, etc. And so when I post the resource here, it'll create ledger entries for the resource, but it also creates ledger entries for the job and possibly ledger entries for the GL for VIP, work in progress. So maybe we'll take a look at that next.